This is Twit. Curious to get Ant's view of the AI photo upscaling stuff that Google's done. And they do it in uh, Photoshop and... Uh, I'm all for it because that's been around for a little while now and it's getting yeah. oh, so better. It's new here? It's getting better, so. okay. It's getting better. It's uh, getting better. Photoshop um, and Lightroom does it as well. And and it also depends on your image because uh, I've tried it with some of some older Rebel, Canon Rebel uh, photos that I had and it scales it up and it doesn't make it look any better. It makes it too jagged on the edges thinking uh-huh. that it needs to be sharper. But it just right. gives it really, really jagged edges, and it's not, not as nice. So you're talking about the Adobe technology, yes? Adobe has their sensei of doing a super enhance, yeah, uh, the same way that Google is using this. As oh, SR3. okay. I thought you were talking about Adobe. So this is the Google, the new Google, well, this is the new Google thing, AI oh, photo. SR, now, if this, SR3, this is in Petapixel. If this is the actual original and this is the result that's kind of mind-boggling but i don't that's know that's why i'm asking yeah yeah but but okay so that image on the left that's a lower resolution image um but it's scaled up so it's going to look pixelated if it was just shown on your screen it would look better on your phone screen yeah. you wouldn't notice how bad it is yeah um I think that's reasonable. Now, what it can't do is make up information. So this is not like, you know, in CSI, how they would always be like, computer, enhance. Enhance. Or, you know, <laughs> enhance, the, enhance that license plate. And you're like, so it's not going to be able to fill in numbers or things that it can't see. What no. it's doing is it's saying, oh, well, this is how noses normally look. We know look, what so a nose I'll, looks like, yeah. No, actually, yeah. it's more interesting it's, than This is from the Google it's, blog post, this SR3 technology. Oh, okay. The model is trained on an image corruption process in which noise is progressed. So they start with a high quality image and they mm-hmm. add noise progressively until it's only white oh. noise, a pure or you know, pure noise. So it's and artificial dumbness. It says this is what happens <laughs> when we go in this direction. And it learns then to so take reverse it. in the other direction. So it isn't saying that's what a nose looks like. It's actually saying oh. based on the degradations we've seen over and over again. So that's an interesting way to train and I have to say these uh, examples Google's giving are pretty amazing. It's getting better. It it wasn't. Are they? That do they have them on anything three, that's not faces? Ago. Yeah, they have. Um, yeah, pizza. Pizza. pizza? <laughs> when I trained, when that's I was what I'm trying having for dinner my tonight. examples, I tried it with some landscape images, and with landscape images, you get a lot of uh, you know trees and whatnot. So the, the there's detail with those leaves, and if you overdo it it would almost look like moire and, and just like little razors so you have uh-huh. to be careful with over sharpening also with including the sr3 model in the cascading pipeline they write we also introduce a new data augmentation technique which we call conditioning augmentation that furthers improves the sample quality results of cdm while the super resolution models in cdm are trained on original images from the data set during generation, they need to perform super resolution on the images generated by low resol- by a low resolution base model, which may not be of sufficiently high quality in comparison to the original images. This leads to a train test mismatch for the super resolution models. Conditioning augmentation refers to applying data augment. You might be right; it might actually know about noses. To applying data augmentation to the low resolution image in- input image of each super resolution model on the cascading pipeline. These augmentations, which in our case include Gaussian noise and Gaussian blur, prevents each super resolution model from overfitting to its lower res- resolution conditioning output. So they're actually doing some wild stuff at Disney. Stacy, in the, in the post that shows how it's upsizing a train, a pizza, a burger, a dog, various other Here things. Here you go. You can uh, show this, John, because we can actually watch it happen. It'll, it'll, it'll cycle through various yeah. photos here. Um, yeah, this is remarkable. This is very much center, mm. enhance, zoom, mm. enhance, mm. center. This is in, straight out of Blade Runner. I'm in my experience, this <laughs> stuff is working best for images that you shoot with a high ISO, uh, meaning you shoot somewhere that's really, really low light, but yet you still want to get some details without a bunch of grain and noise. Um mm-hmm. I've seen better better effects with that because I've shot a, shot some sports here with the hardheads and whatnot, and it's just those field lights, so it's dark out there. And I tell it to enhance it, and it it does make it look way better than 
are you, way but original. You, so are you able to use this technology or are you using Adobe or somebody else? I'm using Adobe. So it's yeah. pretty much the same. They're they're both sharing notes. Because this, is, this isn't new. This has been at least since like 2017, 2018, somewhere in that area. It could they're, be they're the models that, that Google is using. Is mm. They're saying that they've got new models that are doing better. better? I don't know. And do, doing it differently, it I think, is their point. They're, they're, they're doing it differently. They're, they're finding new methods to get there. So, uh, yeah, because the so I'm not sure which method um, Adobe uses Ant, but um, they actually address this comparing their results with, which is green, ah. to other uh, techniques, including regression, pulse, FSR. Yeah, see, I'm not, I can't remember exactly which yeah. one Adobe's doing. Yeah. I wonder where I, I stand on the confusion rate example. scale. You are way over to the right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would, you know what, would, we really can't judge this until they say, here, you know, here, try this in Google Photos. It. Let's see. The ant test. The ant test. Uh, I, I would submit it, it probably isn't the same as what uh, Adobe's doing because I think this is, this looks then like. Then why would Google you. do a blog post? Yeah, right. Because why would they do <laughs> it? Right. Here are three different, four, uh, four different ways of doing it, uh, or three different: bicubic regression, SR3, which is their machine intelligence technology, and then the actual uh, originals. Um, and it's it's true that Google's doing a remarkably better job. Well, who's according the dude? to dude, he looks like a British poet or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> An unhappy British. <laughs> Uh, Isn't that all the? I mean, that's all British poets. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> anyway, I you know I'd love to know more. I'd like I don't you know they don't. It doesn't seem like they're offering it. You know, not a lot of. This is from GitHub. Maybe there's source. I don't know. Maybe there's source code. It's interesting. Google's publishing this research on GitHub, a Microsoft site. Uh, I, I have an example. I don't know if it'll translate though. So this uh, is in uh, Adobe's. Uh, no, go, yeah, go to his screen. This is in Adobe's Photoshop or Lightroom. This, this is in Lightroom. This is Lightroom using that Enhance, and this is the Enhance version of it. Yeah, I, I think that's. Translate. I think they're using other techniques like Bicubic. I don't think they're using Google's GAN stuff or uh, AI stuff, ML stuff. Yeah, see, the original is definitely softer. Yeah, I agree with you. I've used Lightroom's uh, Enhance yeah. as well. Yeah, that's almost like an unsharp mask and stuff. I don't, I'm not sure. But even up to the the resolution, if you look here, yeah, they're improving resolution as well, huh? Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Oh look at that, big difference, huh? Well, I have to say then that looks pretty good, given how is much this? they're 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 what quadrupling the resolution, right? Right. That so. hurts to look at. It's too, it's too sharp. <laughs> I don't know why. Sharp. I'm just like, oh, too much. It's really that one's really sharp. But again, this is a shot that's from really bad lighting conditions. So I, I tried to get as much detail as I possibly could because it's outside in the dark with these big football field lights that are not they're not great for photography. 